Here comes another guy carrying a red bucket up to that truck. Oh, they're chasing him. Oh, one just took it out of the bucket. He's hustling. He's running. They're running from the fish, guys. <laughs> run, buddy, run. Oh, that guy got one. All right, in case y'all can't tell what's going on, the fishermen are coming in with a big catch in these red uh, boxes. Back up a little bit, Kurt. We can see better if you back up a little bit. And they load them into these red boxes to carry to the fish. And <laughs> look at these birds taking it out of the boxes. <laughs> run, buddy, run. Oh, he lost one. Oh, he lost another one. He's swaving a stick. <laughs> We'll watch one more, guys. Oh, oh one. yeah, they got them. Oh, they get. Oh, they're getting them. They're just robbing them blind. There's nothing they can do. All right, guys. Obviously, we've made it to a fishing town, and we've about secured our camp. So let's go do that, right, Kurt? All right, let's go. <laughs> and then we can explore this place and tell you more about it. You speak English? Poquito? No. Cierta cosa entiendo. I'm gonna get uh, pescado frito. Esta de aquí? Pargo. Pargo. Es. Oh. Que, oh. Uh, un picture de que pescado, solo pescado frito o...? Pescado frito, eh, este pescado frito filete. Oh, es... Este no es pina. Es filete. Este todo. Es pescado entero. Ah, es pargo. Pargo, pargo. ¿Qué es? De corvina. Corvina. ¿Es rojo? Sí. Pargo para mí. Hello everyone, welcome to Puerto Lopez. We've been bouncing along the beach now for a little while, for I think about like a week, week yeah. Yeah, for a whole week. Haven't really done a whole lot in these little towns except just chill and enjoy the beach. But at this place I think is supposed to be pretty cool. They have a lot of seafood. We've already seen a ton of frigate birds. They have some pretty cool um, views along here with the rock formations and stuff like that. So I'm pretty excited to see this place. We've got the bikes out. So
So we're gonna be tooling around. We're into Lopez. We had to get some errands done, some laundry done, and some other stuff. We're gonna show you this place in depth. <laughs> we're gonna be here a few days, guys. Snow, you got something new and something old. Empanada. We ordered a little queso empanada just so we could find out which kind they served here in Puerto Lopez. And these are the light and fluffy ones. So that's good. Then I ordered a pizza sandwich. Sandwich. <laughs> You guys might have already guessed it, but I got the whole fried fish. Kurt's fish finally showed up. What are your thoughts? Well, my first thoughts are this thing is giant. It's whole fried fish, which I love. Nice oh, salad. Oh, bringing more food. With jalapenos. Oh. We got some rice, <laughs> some plantanos, and I think there's also some beans coming too. So this I've got enough food here. Week. Yeah, so looking good. So these are called patacones. You get them with almost every meal you order. And we've learned how they make these things and it's been confirmed by some of you guys through the comments. But they take a green plantain and they slice it, like you'd slice a banana up into chunks. And then they throw it in the fryer and they fry it a little bit while it's still in its sliced form. And then they take it out and they mush it because it's already been fried a little bit, it maintains its circle shape. Then they put it back in the fryer, fry it some more, and then they serve it up. Just like you'd get bread back in the United States. In Ecuador, you get patacones. I am full. I've got nothing but a pile of fish bones left, which means food coma. Food coma. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? Yeah, that's fresh off the Barbie. Come on now, come on, won't you come with me? Time to let it go and be free. Won't you come and breathe the open skies? Come now, come listen to the melody. Slow it down, put yourself at ease. Time to live it live. Get away. They have all these nice little bars and restaurants along here. They have little tiny kitchens. We just ate at this one right here, Cabana Ozier. But you can see all these little places. It looks like they light them up at night, but they all kind of have a different decor and a different theme. But it's a pretty cool Malacan. Puerto Lopez. That's the Cheers bar, look at that thing. Good morning everyone. Hello ladies. <laughs> I've been getting in trouble. Actually, we've been getting in trouble because we always say you guys. And we're leaving the ladies out of it. It's a matter of speech. It's not meant to be gender specific. So anyway, good morning ladies and gentlemen. But we are out here at the beach. I was told that the fishermen come in in the morning, they fish all night, they come up here to the beach, 
This is where they sell their fish and unload. And you can also see down here, there's a ton of frigate birds. So to me, that means there's probably some fish down here. But you can see the trucks just back down here to pick up the fish. But as I get closer, you can see there's a lot of people stirring. Now the birds aren't circling a particular boat. So must be waiting for the big mother load to come in. You can see him kind of backing in a boat right there. So a lot of these are sort of big delivery trucks. You can see they got all their tubs ready to fill them. So I think a lot of the fishermen probably haven't come in yet. Looks like a lot of trucks bring their own scales down to weigh their fish. It looks like there's more people at this particular moment waiting than there are picking up fish. So I bet once a boat comes in, look at that big shark. I think once a boat comes in, these fish probably get nabbed up pretty quickly. So that looks like a bin full of Spanish mackerel and pompano there. Little pompano. Spanish mackerel. And up here, what do we have? We have some dolphin, tuna, and mackerel. I'm not sure what those pointy fish are. Maybe barracuda or ladyfish. Some other bottom fish, some bait fish, some jacks, some moonfish look downs. There's a mackerel. This thin shiny ones are look downs. That's a trigger fish. There's a flounder there, some kind of grouper and croaker and shrimp and small bottom fish. And I believe these are some form of amberjack, giant shrimp, little squid, all sorts of shrimp up here, and squid as well. I've never seen those fish. Maybe look downs, bait fish. This one has some red snappers. These are likely hand caught where a lot of the other ones are net caught. You can see there are snappers there. Wow. Mackerel. And this guy's got some blue crabs and some other look downs and a lot of little fish. These are again probably caught with a little cast net or maybe a gilt net of some sort. It looks like up here at the main market, the restaurants are open and serving food. And so this is the processing table. They're up here cleaning, filleting, things like that. And over here, it looks like they do have some restaurants that are serving maybe breakfast, desayuna. Some bananas, see them roasting on the grill there. Very basic kitchens. Looks like most of them have wood fire grills. So this big boat just came in right here in front of us. You can see there's about 10 people on it and they got tubs. So they're pretty excited 
Uh, it looks like this boat has some bigger red snappers. I think these might be kind of prized. The guy jumped up there and grabbed the stringer full and is headed off quickly. There's still some more fish they're unloading on the boat. Probably the smaller ones. I notice a lot of the smaller ones they bring up here to the market to the cleaning tables. You guys can see this little makeshift restaurant here. So he's got a wheel, a tire rim for a, from a vehicle, and there's coals in it, and that's what he's using to heat one of the pots. He's got other grill there with like a half barrel cut in half with all sorts of pans on it. He's got six or seven pans of stuff, noodles, rice, fish, sauce. You can see he's got a little table with an umbrella set up and back. Then you got another cart here with the juice guys, the beverage guys. And then the guy here, I'm not exactly sure what this is, like mystery teas. Oh, he's got herbal medicines for all sorts of stuff. Guata, guata, pescado. Guata, pescado? Pescado. Gracias. couple other food carts they have some pastries like croissants and buns here they have buns and it looks like she's serving a hot something or another I don't know if that's a looks like a drink maybe a horchata and then here they got bolognese and it looks like they've got three kinds I see one with chicharro queso they also have boiled eggs Yes. Bolognes. Bolognes. Con queso. De queso. Carne de chicharrón. Huevos. Ah. Y café. Perfecto. ¿Cuánto cuesta para el balón? Un dólar. ¿Y café o solo balón? El café, el balón, el huevo. Un dólar. Un dólar. Un dólar. All right, guys, I opted for a bologna con carne, a huevo, and a coffee. Right here, just a little stand, all for one dollar. Comes in this little bag, ready to eat. <laughs> I suppose it's fair to say we did it again. We came out for a snack and look what happened. We ordered way too much food. <laughs> we came, Snow was going to get some wings, some alitas. I didn't know it came with papas. We didn't know it came with papas. Heard ordered papas. Then these are patacone yeah, little I'm bowls. About these. They turned the little patacones into little like shells and stuffed them with stuff. So yeah. This is cool chicken and then I got some papas because I was afraid we weren't gonna have enough food <laughs> so it's like get some uh, guacamole with it well <laughs> so look at this guys we're gonna be eating for three days <laughs> so we just managed to put a big dent in the food yeah. and these kids are out here playing soccer I've been watching them for a little bit and they're pretty good it's a pretty slow night on the beach here. We definitely learned a couple things about Ecuador. Number one, the weather, yeah. There's different seasons all over Ecuador, so you never know what season it is. All depends on where you're at and what elevation. Look at this little kid playing soccer. <laughs> oh, he's going crazy. <laughs> The music is kicking up on the beach and so are the lights. 
I wonder if Snow's got a little dancing in her tonight. A little know. dancing on that new knee. It does look like a disco here on the beach. It does. So we're hopping from one beach to the next and we really needed to wash off the car because at our last camp a lot of birds pooped on it. So we thought we had to look for a normal car wash down here. This is actually the very first time since I don't even know when, I mean a year or so that we have come up on a self car wash where you put change in and you get a high pressured hose. This is a luxury we have not had since maybe even the United States. So we were super excited to pull in and wash our car. We have made it to our next campsite. We turned off the main beachfront road and drove down this little dirt access road, which looks like public property towards the beach. And right there is where we have parked the van. Now let's walk over here and take a look at this Pacific Ocean. other campsites have been nice. They've been very comfortable and all the conveniences that come along with camping at a hostel or a hotel. But I told Kurt I wanted a night with just me and the waves. And it looks like we found the perfect spot to do that. Yeah. You want to take a walk, buddy? Yeah. You ready for a walk? All right. I think Kurt's going to come get you. Come fly away with me, am I 
Imagine all the things that we could see. Yeah, don't you know that life's a dance? Come take my hand and fly. told y'all we were wondering if the sun or the clouds were gonna win out. They're still battling. We're getting a little bit of a sunset, but it's nothing epic, is it, Curdy? No, but it's still early, but it is going behind the clouds. A lot of times that's when you start getting the refraction and the colors and it looks like we are getting a little change right now as we speak. So All right, so. I'm holding out hope. Look at that little. We're not giving up yet. <laughs> shimmer of hope right there. Kurt's down there getting one last Insta. The sun tried hard and we're gonna call it a victory for the sun. Not the most epic sunset we've ever seen, but it's the, the one we haven't seen in a while, so it's pretty good. But I think we're gonna call it a night. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys.